I've been working with performance capture tools for a few years now, and in my experience one of the best, if not the best system for facial performance capture is MetaHuman Animator. It's free, it's intuitive, and it delivers outstanding results. MetaHuman Animator depth plus video versus only video. First I'll break down the main differences, then test expressions, try lip sync in multiple languages, and compare processing speeds. Plus I'll share some of my key findings along the way. Let's begin. Originally MetaHuman Animator only worked with an iPhone thanks to its depth sensor. But with Unreal Engine 5.6 Epic introduced MetaHuman Animator video. This update lets you capture facial performances virtually from any video practically shot with any camera or even just your webcam and capturing your performance live. Dedicated tutorial on that is in the description. When the iPhone captures the performance data using Unreal Engine's LiveLink Face app, it records both a video and depth data. That means I can use the exact same video to test video only performance against video plus depth, making it a perfectly fair comparison since both come from the same source. Now I have to find out if the results from the video only option are as good as using iPhone's depth sensor. That way I'll know if I still have to strap my iPhone to my face or if I can switch to a significantly lighter solution like the headcam. From the results can you spot any substantial differences? There is also one more very important thing we have to take into consideration other than how good the performance is. And I'll reveal what that is towards the end. The facial performance hasn't been edited in any way, it's just the raw capture data. Here are a few expression tests. From my last video I got some messages and comments that mentioned that lip sync in languages other than English worked perfectly when using the iPhone with the depth sensor. However, with the video only option, the lip sync wasn't as accurate. I suspect that this might be because the facial solver AI was primarily trained on English with other languages receiving less optimization. To test this theory I called in a favor from a few friends speaking different languages and I'll share some important findings. First we begin with my native language. Şimdi ben Türkçe konuşuyorum. Meta Human Animator performansını farklı dillerde test etmek için. Mesela en çok kullanılan kelimelerle bunu test edebiliriz. Merhaba. Nasılsınız? Teşekkürler. İyi günler. İyi akşamlar. Evet. The difference between the depth and video in Harry's performance is huge because there are a few things we have to take into consideration. Is the phone strapped to your face or is it on a table and you're moving or are you holding the phone and both you and the phone is moving? If it's a medium close up like this and you want to include your head movement without additional mocap, phone on the table is a good option. If you're doing body mocap or you don't need any head movement, the best option is to have the camera mounted on your head. The tools I use like the head rig or head cam is in the description with a discount code. Having both you and the phone move is not recommended because it can give strange results in terms of head movement and eye movement. It's not recommended. And the other thing is, to process the iPhone's depth data capture, we first need to create an identity for our actors. A calibrate take is needed for this step. Or you can wing it and use just a neutral looking frame and use that as the calibration. That's what I did for Harry's performance. Though this does not give the best results. This step is crucial for the iPhone. In the opening for my performance, I properly used a calibration take to calibrate the face. This only needs to be done once per actor. Then we can process the take. This is the speed difference after I click process. I did not speed up this footage. Look how fast the video processes. Video processing is complete, now let's speed up the footage. This is a huge difference in processing and preparation. This is the other important thing I mentioned in the opening that we have to take into consideration when comparing the two. If you want to watch the full length performance comparisons from Rehina, Matteo, Harry and my Turkish performance, the link to that video is in the description. In conclusion, I think MetaHuman Animator video is very strong. I did not notice any big differences when comparing it with a well calibrated take. I think this might be my preferred method from now on because its final result is almost identical and there is a significant speed difference in processing. Did you notice anything else or do you think I should have run additional tests? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. My name is Honor, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to stay hydrated.